свою практику. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to our office of evening prayer. God feeds his people with the bread of life. Let us worship and praise him. Lord, open our lips that we may glorify and praise your name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you who by night stand in the house of our God. Lift up your hands towards the holy place, and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And so as we come to the end of this day, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our appointed psalm is Psalm 118, and it can be found on page 754 in our prayer books. Psalm 118. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. 
Let Israel now proclaim that his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron proclaim that his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord proclaim that his mercy endures forever. In my danger I called to the Lord. He answered me and set me free. The Lord is on my side. I shall not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall see the downfall of my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put your trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than put your trust in princes. All the nations surround me, and in the name of the Lord I drove them back. They surrounded, they surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord I drove them back. They swarmed about me like bees, they blazed like fire among the thorns. In the name of the Lord, I drove them back. I was pressed so hard that I almost felt. But the Lord was my helper. The Lord is my strength and my song. And he has become my salvation. The sounds of joy and deliverance are in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does mighty things. The right hand of the Lord rises up. I shall not die but live and proclaim the works of the Lord. The Lord has disciplined me hard, but he has not given me over to death. Open me the gates of righteousness, and I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter it. I will praise you, for you answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, save us, we pray. O Lord, send us prosperity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson is written in Matthew chapter 26, and I read from verse 69. Peter disowns Jesus. Now Peter was sitting out in the courtyard, and a servant girl came to him. You were also with Jesus of Galilee, she said, but he denied it before them all. I don't know what you're talking about, he said. Then he went out of the gateway where another girl saw him and said to the people there, This fellow was with Jesus of Nazareth. He denied it again with an oath, I don't know the man. After a little while, those standing there went up to Peter and said, Surely you are one of them, for your accent gives you away. Then he began to call down curses on himself and he swore to them, I don't know the man. Immediately a rooster crowed. Then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken. Before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Here ends the lesson. Dear friends, confessing Jesus and praising him loudly and boldly, is very easy among friends and fellow believers. But what happens when our world is shattered and destroyed, when our dreams are broken? Will you and I still confess 
Jesus as Lord? Will we still serve him because we believe and because he is Lord, even when there is no external or apparent reason to serve him? As I look at my own life, Peter's rooster has crowed in many lives since Peter. Peter, since he heard that rooster, he realized what he had done. He had broken his word to the Lord and broken the Lord's heart. And that rooster still crows and comes in many forms. And I guess for me, like Peter and many others, that agonizing moment we feel when we realize that we betrayed or denied the Lord. But this evening I want to remind us that the beautiful part of the story is unlike Judas's betrayal, that Peter's story doesn't end here. And as we read the as we read the Gospels and Scripture, we so you see that Peter has done mighty acts, and how Peter is restored to Christ again. That even in his failure, even in his denial, even in his shame and guilt, God comes and God wraps his arms around Peter and God forgives. And I trust and pray that if we find ourselves in a situation like Peter, ashamed because we have denied God, the good news is that God is a loving and a forgiving God and welcomes us back and restore us to all that we can be in him. Amen. The Song of Simeon Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We say the baptismal creed together. I believe and trust in God the Father who made the world. I believe and trust in his son Jesus Christ to redeem humankind. I believe and trust in his Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God. I believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and holy God, we fully recognize that we make promises that we cannot do or keep. Please forgive us when we have rash, been rash with our promises, slow in keeping our vows to you, and weak in fulfilling our commitments. We know that there is a bit of both Peter and Judas in us, because sometimes we fail you out of fear and sometimes for personal gain and sometimes for no reason at all. This troubles us and shames us 
but we also reminds us that we need your strength and your Holy Spirit to be strong and to live faithfully. Our earnest prayer, dear Father, is that we will never outlive nor betray our love for you and the grace that you have given in our Savior. And so, Lord, lighten our darkness, and by your great mercy, defend us in all perils and dangers of the night, for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen. I trust and pray that you will have a peaceful night's rest. Goodbye and God bless.